All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do certain things with curves. Um, so this is something that I only started to learn uh, a little bit into my rigging process. Curves are what we use to control rigs, and here uh, we'll start with how to change the color of curves. So that one is pretty simple. When you create a control curve, let's start off with a nerves curve right here. Um, it's gonna come in this uh, general shape. It's gonna come in like this dark blue. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into with the attribute editor. And you want to go into the object display and go to drawing override and you want to enable the override and from here you have a couple of options on how to go about changing the colors. You have a bunch of colors that Maya will have picked out for you over here, which is pretty much what I use. Um, we, um, I basically use um, this shade of yellow and I believe it is this shade of red for most of my curves, and if I'm using stuff for facial features, I usually use white. But you can also go into here and select RGB and uh, choose a color of your own manually. So you can choose whatever kind of color you want. And that will change the color of the curve. Um, so that's the first thing. Second thing is that um, you'll see in some parts of the rig, I have curves over here that do not go past a certain point. For example, I have this eye con controller that can only move uh, a certain point because there's no point of having him roll his eyes back um, further than this, you know? And the same goes for these controls. You can even see there's a box in certain, um, for the, like the, the, the mouth controls and the facial controls. I put a box that helps to kind of understand the limitation of the, the, the controller inside of it. But yeah, so basically the way I go about doing that is if you go, um, let's, let's do it with this one I have made right here. If you go into the same attribute editor you had over here, um, go to the, um, make sure that you go into not the shape node over here, but the, the actual node for the object itself, and you go into a box called limit information. And from there, you're going to have the translate, rotate, and scale. Um, and from there, you can kind of go about limiting the information that you have. I recommend you freeze your transformations, modify freeze transformations before you do anything so that everything is set to zero. And then from there, you can say, okay, so I want the minimum for this to be, let's say, in this case, I want it to be zero. So the minimum will, we'll see right now it's set to negative one. So we'll press this and it's going to shift whatever the current number in here is to here and we'll press this button to activate it. So now um, we should not be able to, oh, that's the translate X. So we should not be able to move this past zero on this axis. And if you want to do the same with translate Y, do the same over here. And now we can't move it down on this axis. axis. And we'll just do the same over here in Z. So now it's going to be hard to move it down past a certain point, but we can indeed move it up past a certain point. So this is a this is a way to enable to lock the rig and move it in certain places, and it makes it very easy for you to um, do stuff like this and um, stuff like this. You can do the same with the scale, the rotate, and everything else. Um, the next thing we're going to go over real quick is how to create cubes in various shapes. So as you can see, um, over here I have uh, a box, and over here you see I have a circle, and these shapes are made in different ways. The most basic way to make these curves you would normally go into create, and you go to nerves primitives, and you would see this circle over here. But the problem with the square over here is if you open the square over here, it's going to come not as um, just a curve as normal, but it's going to come as a group of curves, and it's going to come as a group of straight curves, which always bothered me. I, I never understood why it was that way. The way I go about um, making my curves is I go into, let's see, the top view and I go to create and I go to curve tools and you have two curve tools over here. You have a CV and the EP curve tool and these are the primary ones I use. The CV curve tool is what I use if I want to get kind of rounded curve edges, um, kind of like more oval, whereas the EP curve tool is something for if I want to have a more flat um, kind of sharp angles and the reason why is because I can access the curve degree and make it one instead of um, three or whatever. So because of that, and I can pretty much while holding shift, um, just make a box like this from here to here to here and over here. And it's not going to be perfect, but luckily we can just access the control vertex and just, you know, straighten everything out. And by doing that, you will have a curve very quickly 
that is in the shape of a box. But let's say you want to do something a little bit more complicated. Let's say you want to make a, a cube, which is something that I have in some models. Like in, for, for the, in, in this case, you can see there's a cube right here, um, kind of near his foot to kind of encompass his foot area. Let's say, for example, I wanted to take this and, and replace this curve with a cube. How would I go about doing that? It's a little tricky, and I, it would be kind of cool if Maya implemented a way to make this a little bit easier. But this is the way that I, uh, that I go about doing it. So um, what you do is you go into your curve tools, you start off with the EP curve tool, and you create a cube like this. And then from there you don't end it, you go diagonally, and then you kind of make an outer rectangle, but every single time you go and um, make a new point, you connect it to the previous point. Go back, line it up, boom, go back, line it up, Boom, go back, and then you're done by the time you get up here. And so you don't have to worry about it being perfectly straight because you can fix that right now real quick. What you do next is you essentially take the control vertices over here, and then you move them up like such. And from there, it's as simple as just grabbing each line and making sure that you use the scale tool to even them out. And that should fix any issues that you have. And then when you're done, you can just take these, even them out, and you have a cube. And you can pretty much change the shape of the cube in any way you want with the control ver uh, vertex, and the cube will work just like any of the cur um, curves. And so in the case of this, let's say um, I wanted to put this over here. I'm simply going to take both the cube and that joint Control one and I'm gonna click the middle box over here, hold V, and then middle mouse drag it to that little joint over there. Control one again. Now I have this box around it. Um freeze the um the box's uh, properties. I'm gonna call it um I'm gonna call it uh, base. Base control. And then we're just gonna go in here to the original base control. Um uh, what it make a, a Let's see. I'm just gonna take these and move them over here and delete this. Now we should have this box controlling the rig. There you go. And it looks a lot better. And it looks uh, more distinguished from the rest of the rig. Um, you can tell that it's something that's a part of the actual base as opposed to just something that, contro that controls the rotation of the torso. So. Stuff like that's cool. And the last thing I'm going to show you for this video is um, something related to text. So I don't think this is possible with normal curves. Uh, from what I can tell, it's only possible with text. So if you were to want to do something like what you see right here with the FKIK thing that I have going right here, what you would normally do is I would uh, create and I would go to type. And then I can type in, let's say, um, what I want to call this FK. Okay, just um, I'll use the same thing as before. FK, okay. We'll make it uh, a certain size. You don't have to worry about the thickness. And once you're done um, with the wording and everything, and the font and everything you like, and the size, then we're going to modify, convert, and we're going to convert uh, type to curves. Once you're done with that, you can just go ahead and delete the type, and you can have a bunch of curves. But it's not just like with the the box from before. It's not going to be one curve. It's going to be a bunch of curves. So how do we go about fixing this? Now this is a little bit complicated, so bear with me. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to first off make a, a, a just a select nothing and press Control G. And what you'll do is you'll make a null group, a group that has nothing in it. All right. And the null group, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna go to display um, and we're going to select shapes. Once you do that, you're gonna see a plus marker next to all of these curves. So we're gonna go ahead and expand them. You're gonna see they expand into a group containing the curve shape. Right, and so we're going to select all of those curved shapes, and then last we're going to select the null group, and then in the mel um, little script editor line over here, we're going to write parent, and then dash r, and then dash s, and then a little um, little thing, and then boom. Once you do that, you're going to see all of these curves are going to be inside null, and then once you turn shapes off. You can delete this. So now null doesn't have anything underneath it. It's just one single curve line, but it contains all of the curves that you previously saw over here, right? 
So we can just now name this F K I K um, R or whatever whatever we want. And there you go. So now you have an object that is a bunch of letters that uh, that works like that. But to my knowledge, you can't do the same thing with a circle. If you were to take a circle and you were to take a second circle and you were to take both their shapes, create a null group, then you take both and add them in here. Then you turn them off. What happens is the circle kind of resets back to where it was originally. So it freezes its transformations or whatever. So, um, so yeah, so that's, that's pretty much all there is in this video to learn about curves. That should give you the ability to create pretty much everything that you see in this rig. Uh, there's nothing in this rig that you don't know. Only, only thing here that you may not know is just this, which is just create locator and that's about it.